Hello and welcome to the Superpower DNI team. I'm Peter. And I'm Rick. And today we're having a look at episode two of Ultraman Blazer, which is entitled, I'm pointing at you, The, the Man, Man Who, who created... created Scarred. And Scarred, as we find out, stands for Special Kaiju Reaction Detachment. Where's the A for in? We've missed a oh, letter. It's, it's a little A, so you don't you don't count it. Maybe. Maybe it's part of Kaiju. Okay. If you enjoy our videos, please uh, press the like button and the subscribe button. And if you've got any videos you'd like us to react to or shows you'd like us to review, please put them in the comments below. So last week we um, noted that um, it just started with the Kaiju coming out and I said that it would be nice to get some sort of backstory about why that, that Kaiju just came out. And some people in the comments just said, it's just to show that the world is full of kaijus coming to attack things. That's just commonplace um, yep. in that environment. So, but this this episode, I like that they sort of introduced on the fishing boat that the um, kaiju was coming from the sea. I think Gedos was yeah. it? Was it Gedos? Uh, I, uh, I can't remember. Gedos? No, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so and, um, the old fisherman said, like, gave us a bit of a backstory. Said that it was um, normally very peaceful, but sometimes comes up. Oh, what what was the reason why it came up? If it was not enough fish or something? Yeah, it's, it was an environmental reason, and yeah, which is yeah. which is why I thought this episode was a bit weird in the fact that this this. Kaiju was sent, uh, coming back because it's giving us a reason because there's no uh, – it's, it's running out of fish. We're, we're fishing too much. We're doing the wrong thing to the ocean and stuff like that. So it's a reminder that we need to treat the ocean well. Instead, they go and kill it. Yeah. Just maybe. Well, it, the, old guy, the old guy at the end did say oh, – he exploded, um, but uh, the guy, guy at the end did say he could come back if we continue with our ways. And I'm going – Shouldn't shouldn't that kaiju be the good guy? Yeah. <laughs> like, isn't isn't it just reminding us our responsibility of treating the earth nicely? Anyway. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're they're attacking it because it's attacking places where people live, I suppose. Because we were doing things. Yeah. I to guess the it's ocean. like when a which I don't agree with, but I guess it's like when people like kill a shark that's bitten someone or something. Yeah. Anyway, they they don't know that you know they're not out trying to kill humans, but they yep. mistake it for food and mm. yeah. Anyway, the, so this this episode was uh, a kind of a getting the team together, pulling yeah. the team together, and seeing seeing what it can do on its first outing, sort of thing, or kind of getting to know the other uh, team members, uh, best of the best, who look like some of them couldn't tie up their own shoelaces if they were asked. <laughs> They, and that's unfair, but it's like they, they come across as this zany. Every every person has a, a specific skill, which is, I guess, why you build the team. Yeah. Uh, a, a la Mission Impossible. But they. The series, the not best, the movies. Yeah. If, if you're getting a team together of the best of the best, you'd think they would react, they would act a little more. Um, uh, Response. I don't know. No, responsibly. I think it's word, overplayed but... for the audience. I think the audience is What's that? I think it's... a bit younger than us, and I think they're trying to make it a bit zany yeah. and entertaining. Yeah. Like with some but of the humor, what... like I that's didn't what it is. Find the humor over, overly funny, but I think you know, if I was part Five of the younger old. audience, I'd probably think it was yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. That whole the whole pen gag going around. Or oh, you need to sign these. Oh, who's got a pen? Yeah, man, scrambling around. Uh, oh, just oh, so it was childish humor. And I did look up afterwards about who who is Ultraman aimed at, and and it is for kids. Yeah, which sort of sits uneasy with me sometimes because of the the violence versus. But that could be just my Western background of like, if it was a kids thing, it was you could only get this much, right? I think. Yeah, the, the Japanese aren't scared of the ultra violence. But I think it's also sense? something that's crossed over to adults as well because it's, I think it's yeah. a little bit like Doctor Who. Doctor Who's was supposed to be like a kids' show, and that's yeah. become really big with with adults over the years. So, 
Yeah. I think it's yeah. perhaps something akin to that. But I did appreciate yeah. that this one had more of a story. Like it wasn't just a monster smashing up and then a fight at the end. This had, you know, some actual narrative to it. Yeah, and it's build the team. I think, like, I watch it and I, I'm in my brain. I'm going, yes, it is for kids, but the like, things like the sets, the, the, the massive table with a, a one telephone in the middle of in there in their special ops organization. Like I just found that really odd to have huge table, one phone for everyone. And they're all jumping at it, whenever it rings and, and the overacting and the over voice acting, which is, yeah. uh, uh, it kind of takes me out of it as well. It's like, it's interesting. It's interesting seeing uh, a guy in a rubber suit fight a guy in a wetsuit. Yeah. And so in the end, the team getting together, they, they start fighting the, the kaiju, and then um, they just end up getting Ultraman anyway. It's a bit. Do you remember that? I know you watch Mitchell and Webb. Mitchell and Webb is like yeah. a comedy. It's, it's David Mitchell and Robert Webb. They had a yeah. skit called, um, I think it was like, it was supposed to be two superheroes. It was like Skateboard Kid and and the Angel. And the, or and the Wizard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so. Everything that the skateboard kid did was pretty useless because that the other guy could summon a army of angels. And do you know what? It, do you know where I'm yep. going? It was a bit yep. like that. So it was like, oh, like they're fighting a criminal. So oh, I could skateboard over there and um, like trick them to follow me and surprise them, <laughs> or I could just summon uh, an army of angels and that would get the, the villain. So it was a bit like that, wasn't it? Like they've got yeah. a team together and then they just end up summoning Ultraman. Okay, Angel Summoner, the kidnappers are holding a hostage in that warehouse, but I've got a plan. Okay, BMX bandit, let's hear it. I ride in through that window using my BMX and spin my rear wheel kicking some mud up into their faces. While they're distracted, I'll pop a wheelie knocking the guns out of their hands. Then you go in and untie the girl. Right. <laughs> or I could just summon a horde of angels to sort it out. I was actually a bit disappointed that they had to bring Ultraman into this one because... Um, it looked, the team actually had a strategy. That, like they knew that they had to try and shoot it in the in the porthole where it was blowing out the gap. Like I would like to see them have solved it as a as a team this time around, yeah. and it's like actually be. But yeah, uh, just all of a sudden, oh no, I got one shot in. It was working, uh, but now I need Ultraman. And now I think it happened accidentally too. He wasn't what, that he. Yeah, I'm not sure. No, no, because. It, he was actually going for a second shot up the up the clacker, and the but then the 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 medallion thing he got started burning in his pocket or something, and he took oh, it out. Okay. And that's yeah, I do the, remember something. That's when like that. the yeah, and that's when yeah. the Ultraman thing came out. So it wasn't it wasn't like they called him, but I, I don't know what the trigger was for well, the was Ultraman burning. thing happening. Yeah. Um, the other thing that someone mentioned in the comments is that we thought that the the light on his chest indicated his power. Someone said it ah, yep. indicates his the time he can be on Earth. So that's oh, why he okay. still had his power to defeat the baddie, but, but it's just saying you had to do it. you've got to yeah. get out there. So okay. he still keeps his strength and his power. It's just that mm. he's only got a limited amount of time to be to be on Earth. But so yeah, what, so was his special, what was his special power today? It was a Ultraman fishing rod. <laughs> And that's the other thing I didn't get because they set up that this is, you know, quite a peaceful animal that most of the time is at the bottom of the ocean or whatever. It looked yeah. to me like he was going back to the bottom of the ocean and then yeah. um, Ultraman fishes him back. Like, why didn't he yeah. just let him go? Yeah, go back and be peaceful there. I'll come back. Well, if we you, gotta, we if you get, get back here, I'll come back. Yeah. That was so we could defeat. I guess you have to defeat the Kaiju. But, and so then at the end, the um, the boss, um, the man who created Scarred, I guess, he yep. there's a big reveal that there's like a mech machine. Um, I think it was like a mechanical dragon or a mechanical kaiju. And so next week the um, it looks like that's going to be used and the, yep. the chief... 
We don't use those names here. You either use the person's name or their <laughs> nickname. You don't use Chief. Uh, anyway. No, but the, the boss of all of them... Um, oh, yeah, General. Has ...given the order that they need to... General uh, Rykan. Defeat, ...defeat the Kaiju without Ultraman's interference or help. Oh, that's right, yeah. Because there, there's so that's that gonna be next. That's going to be episode three's story, yeah. I guess. So, yeah, th that's the suspicion that, uh, no, sorry, the distrust. They don't know who Ultraman is there to serve. Well, the general doesn't. He's like, he's still a threat. Yeah. He's a giant guy. He's a threat. We've got to take it seriously. Which, so that was episode two. So next yep. time we'll look at um, episode three and well, see some mechanical dragon action. And uh, go Ultraman. Thank you for watching the Superpower Dead, our team. If you enjoy our videos, please like them and please subscribe to our channel. And you can comment down below. We love a comment. And please ring that bell. Ring that bell.